So I'm now, it's now my favorite place to be. You know, I don't, if someone says, I got 10,000 people and you have this Saturday to be ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. I changed my stars so much that the thing that I was most afraid of, I love more than anything in the world. You can do that. You can take anything, anything that someone else is doing, you can do. You just have to stop being afraid. You have to put yourself in a situation and continue to do it over and over again until the fear goes away, until you realize that the thing that you told yourself, the fear that said I can't do it, it just stops. And you really can. It happens pretty quick. You say, well, I just don't like people. Well, you don't like people because there's something about the personal engagement that causes you to not like people. There's some fear in there that causes you. You don't like rejection. You don't like having to learn communication. <laughs> you don't like something about the, the engagement of people. Because um, you could be the hardest butt in the world and have your grandchild show up. You suddenly like people. You're just not afraid of that little guy. You know, you're the warmest, cuddliest, nicest little teddy bear grandpa you've ever seen <laughs> because your grandson's in the room. And so you were just lying all the rest of the time. When you're the boss and you're the CEO and you're tough and everything's yes, no, life, death, in or out, you know, you're not that guy. Because when your grandchildren show up, you're the different guy. There's your real self right there. The, different roles. And you're unafraid. In that role, you're unafraid. So make, make the role that you're most comfortable in transfer over into the role that you're not comfortable in. Become that person the rest of your life. What are you so afraid of? Well, people are going to take advantage. If I'm nice, they're going to take advantage of me. Well, that's just fear. The voice, say, I'm going to do it anyway. And you get up out of the foxhole, and you start running in the direction. At a certain point, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to realize your fears were true, and you're going to get shot in the head. <laughs> or, or you're just going to lose your fear. You're just going to keep going. So we apply action to the things that we're afraid of. Public speaking, that's your fear, start public speaking. You're afraid of dogs, go work, go <coughs> volunteer at a dog rescue. If you're afraid of, of parties, find out someone, because going to a party by yourself and sitting in the corner usually reinforces your fear <laughs> instead of fixing it. Find out from someone, get a coach, find somebody who's, who's brave in that area and say, hey, this is my thing. Take me with you, show me the tricks. Like with sales, I was the most fortunate guy in the world to hang out with Gary. Gary, my first sales guy, taught me how to do two things, PMA and ask the question 400 times a day. It was all about positive attitude and numbers. And you can achieve top of your sales force with just those two tricks. Become the guy who asks the question more than anybody else in the field and do it with a positive attitude. And I sold $1,000 a week. At the end of each week, I had $1,000 in cash in my pocket for a 21-year-old kid in 1971. That was a lot of money. And all he did was teach me two things. Find a mentor. Find someone who used to be afraid or is currently not afraid of that very same thing and say, hey, I want some help. People really want to help. People love to bring you along, bring you to the party and show you how to be life of the party. 